Wow. We don't really celebrate Halloween. Them some little pumpkin stickers. <sighs> so I hear Nola waking up again, you guys. I guess it's one of those days. Like I'm literally in the middle of baking. So we do not breastfeed anymore. We are currently no more breastfeeding. That journey is sadly over. All the reality of baking with a toddler. I cannot believe he did that. Deep breaths, I'm gonna go pray. I see like gooey batter at the very top, so they are not done. Hello, welcome back to the vlog. And if you're new here, just welcome. Today is Halloween, so it's Sunday, and I thought I would pick up the camera and vlog like all the little activities and stuff we're doing. I am about to get ready. I'm about to get the kids boo basket ready. Just like a little activity basket. It's not really gifts, because I didn't want to do gifts for Halloween. That's not even a thing. Maybe some people do. But we're not really celebrating Halloween, we're celebrating fall. We're gonna do some sensory activities, we're gonna bake. We have like a whole bunch of things for today. So today's vlog should be fun. I have some confetti that I'm gonna put in this basket. And then all of this stuff, you guys, is really from the dollar store. I have some cookie cutters to add to their collection. They can do it with Play-Doh or make cookies. Um, I was gonna make cookies, but I think I'm gonna make pumpkin muffins instead. I got them some little pumpkin stickers. I thought these were really cute. And some little foam or foam. So I thought this would be fun for like sensory. And I got also some little putty as well. So I thought this would be fun for the kids to do today since we're not gonna do trick or treating. Some wooden little things for them to color on. I got this leaf and a pumpkin. I thought these were really cute from the dollar store. So they're gonna color on those. And then I also got them like a little coloring book because they love Mickey Mouse. So I thought that would be fun. Just some things to keep them busy because I don't want them to feel like they're missing out on anything. Not like they know. But, you know, I just thought activities would be the way to go today. So we're going to do these and I'm going to put them all in that basket. I also bought them this haunted house from Trader Joe's a while back. And I think we're going to try to put this together. I'm not sure how this is going to turn out with two toddlers, but I think it still will be fun. And if not, they can at least eat the cookie part, right? I am over here watching, not watching, I'm over here listening to some jazz. How cute is this, like, I love it. basically just threw everything in there like they're gonna tear it apart anyway so just keeping it really simple I think they're gonna enjoy this it's just a lot of fun things for them to do I need to go get them dressed and then I think we're gonna head out the door to go do our next activity also I have a little bit of footage from the pumpkin patch so I'm gonna insert that now so you guys can see what the pumpkin patch was like the kids absolutely loved it my mom is here by the way if you hear her talking she's with the kids but um the kids absolutely loved the pumpkin patch. It was so much fun, and I can't wait to go back next year. We're off to the pumpkin patch. We are literally heading out the door. I just brewed myself some coffee. I'm brewing my mom some coffee back there, and we are about to head out. It is kind of like overcast today, which I think is kind of a perfect day to go to the pumpkin patch. Last year we went, it was so freaking warm, and it was so hot that we didn't stay very long, so this time it's like nice and chilly, but we're gonna be dressed warm though. Well. The kids really are going to be dressed warm. They're in like layers. So let's go to the pumpkin patch. I'm so excited. This one is the same one we went to last year, but it's a new location and they like revamped the whole farm. So I'm so excited to see how that is. And yeah, I might be more excited than the kids. This is like my favorite fall activity to do. <gasps> you guys, look at this. Look at these right here. These are so cool.
<laughs> I guess you go through here? Let's go through there. Is it 12 a person? It is, yes. And the kids are free? Um, ages two and under. Okay, perfect. Those pigs. What? You guys see the sheep? He's a cow. What do what do they say? They say ba. Hi. Baby cows. These are baby cows. Thank you. You guys, the tractor's back. Let's go ride it. Let's go ride the tractor. Bless you. You like it, Nola? Are you riding? You see the pumpkins? We're not going fast. in spring rainbow trout and hummingbird wing golden the kids are wearing these beautiful like lion manes they're so beautiful i love these i got these off of etsy like a few months ago and they're so cute they're just like little bonnets so the kids love these and they've been wearing these for the past like month and a half just in the house and i figured Pull them out for Halloween, why not? So cute. And then I'm just gonna pair it with like clothes that kind of match the lion theme. But yeah, we don't really do Halloween in this house just because we're kind of religious and I don't know. I just, I don't know. <laughs> but I want them to still have fun and you know, keep the costumes minimal. But they could still be a little, a little something. I struggle with this time of the year, like Halloween, I don't know what it is, but I feel like if you're any kind of religious, it's just a little hard with this Halloween holiday. Like, I don't even, we don't really, we don't really celebrate Halloween, but let me know down below. I want to know your guys' thoughts. Do you celebrate? If you don't, why? If you do, why? Like, I just want to know down below. So pause this video and let a girl know, like, thoughts on Halloween. But um, I want my kids to have fun. I don't want to feel like they, I don't want them to feel like they miss out on anything. Even though, like, I know they're young, they, they don't even know. But we're just going to do some fun things and, like, Mommy. little activities today. Mommy. October, yeah, baby. It's a Valentine's card. You found your Valentine's Day card? Yeah, it got braids. Okay, cool. So we celebrate October basically all month long because my husband's birthday, our anniversary, so we love October. We love uh, fall. It's our favorite. Mommy. So cute. Mommy. I know it's not fun brushing your teeth. I know it's not. But we have to brush so your teeth don't get all messed up, okay? It's not Valentine's Day today. Yep, it is. We just love Which one is which? Mommy. I All right now here <laughs> Let's put it on Wow And you put Yoya on I'll put Nola's on too, don't worry Okay, and you put my bedtime sky Look this one you, do you want to make a, a Halloween one today or a fall one? Do you want to make a fall one today? Yeah! Okay, mommy got you like some cool you. things. Bye! <laughs> With ears. <laughs> Are those ears? You going to take a picture? With no. your camera? Yeah. <laughs> You're so With cute. my camera. Go 
Why? 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 Yeah. Why? 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 They do what, Nola? Why? Wow. Quick reality check right now. This is what my house is looking like. There's toys and there's stuff <sighs> everywhere. And Dee's back there on his phone. My dress is from Nothing Fits, but I love this company. It's so cute. They have like a lot of maternity. You can wear it for when you're not pregnant, which I love. And then my shoes. My shoes are from Shop Souls, which are little leather shoes. So. They're really, really comfortable. I love these. I have the dryer going, so I hope you guys can hear me. The dryer keeps going off because it's saying the clothes are dry, but they're literally not even dry. They're still, like, damp, which I don't understand. I guess the sensor... I am, but it keeps turning off. It's saying that it's dry, but they're still a little damp. There's so many leaves. You're stuck. Yeah. I get stuck Here. Whoa. Hi, baby. So we're out here right now collecting some leaves. I thought it would be really fun for like a sensory fall activity. So then we'll bring them back to the house and then do a little sensory with them in the house as well. The kids are having a good time, of course. Like, yay, good job. You guys put it down and then put leaves in there. There you go. Have your boo basket are you guys gonna open your stuff yeah please those are cookie cutters you guys can be... what's that a book. it's a book it's a coloring book it has mickey mouse mm. spooky mommy hmm. open them. you want to yeah. open them okay and you guys can color those and those are pumpkin stickers that you just whoa just put something snack. <laughs> There's nothing else in there. I so I How about you guys sit at the table with this? Sit at the table. You wanna open this one too? Yeah. I don't don't mix them together though. You're not supposed to mix them together. So no, you're not putting ice in you just throwing stuff. While they play, I'm gonna have some leftover spaghetti. Oh yeah. Because I'm hungry. So what I've been doing lately, you guys, is making batch meals. So I make a whole bunch of spaghetti or a whole bunch of... You guys, play nice. No, no, play nice. Nola, play nice. There's no hitting. We don't hit each other. It hurts. Hey, they're ready for a nap. They are definitely ready for a nap. They woke up early, so I think pretty soon it's going to be nap time. Anyways, I've been doing batch meals, making big meals. So we have a whole bunch of leftovers. Oh yeah. Oh yeah, you still like this? Yeah. 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 So for like lunch snack, I'm gonna do pumpkin brioche bread. This bread is really good, even good on its own. So Noah has one of those. And then I'm gonna give him some turkey cheese and pretzels and make it just really simple. <laughs> You got your sticks? So we got sticks that we collected outside and our leaves. So this is going to be their sensory activity for the day. And I thought it would be fun and all folly to do leaves and so easy, cheap, and free. Right? Yay. And now we got the sticks and the leaves. Mm -hmm. And now we will. And now we got the leaves. 
what are you gonna do? Also have a pumpkin brioche with my spaghetti as well because why not? Just add more carbs, right? <laughs> They're about ready to go down for a nap. Nola is sleeping. I'm gonna put everything into the bowl. You want to do dry ingredients first I'll leave this recipe down below. It's so good. My girl Jasmine This is her recipe and it's so good So I'll leave um, her Instagram down below if you guys want to check her out She has all kinds of cute festive things all the time But I made these I made these muffins like a few weeks ago and they were so good So I was like we definitely need to I wanted to do some kind of baking today And I definitely thought this would be fitting and D keeps asking me to make these over again so I'm definitely gonna make them they are so good yeah let's hope that Nola doesn't wake up Noah is trying to nap right now we'll see how that goes but yeah let's make some pumpkin muffins oh I need D's not here to open the pumpkin stuff lovely I'm gonna have to struggle with the can opener our can opener is broken love that for me so Nola woke up, so I had to rock her back to sleep, mom life, and now, now I'm gonna start on the muffins. So I hear Nola waking up again, you guys. I guess it's one of those days. Like I'm literally in the middle of baking and she's awake. I'm hoping she'll fall back asleep. Oh, so I'm gonna have to rock her back to sleep. Why are you crying, Mama? What? Why are you awake? Mommy. Mommy. Yes, you're supposed to be laying down taking a nap. Lay down. Lay no TV. <laughs> lay down. Hey. It's time to take a nap. You keep waking her up when she's tired. Either quiet time or lay down and take a nap. One of the two. We do not breastfeed anymore. We are currently no more breastfeeding. That journey is sadly over. I'll do like a whole video about like how I got her off and everything that worked for us. But Mommy. we are on day four, five, no five. We're on day five of completely Dad. no nursing. No nursing back to Dad. sleep. We are not turning back. This is it for us. And I am sad, definitely sad about it. But I definitely think she's ready and i'm ready to have my body back so yeah that's where we're at with nursing there is no more nursing so yeah we are no longer breastfeeding you guys i am sad but i think she's ready and i'm ready to okay so no nap well she did nap twice i got her down twice but she woke up with in like 20 minutes so i guess we're skipping a good nap today huh and we will be baking together and Noah I think is still gonna have some quiet time and yeah so let's gonna bring her learning tower over here so she can bake with mama but yeah some days they just don't nap and that's okay huh. me, me, me. you 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 yeah it's been a whole two years. Well, I've been breastfeeding for like a whole three years straight. But I cannot believe now I'm going to be like, no babe. Like nobody's nursing. Like that's crazy. I have my body back fully now. So I'll give you guys a whole update about that in another video. But yes. Ooh, good job. Yay. Okay, Easter. Easter. So just a quick reminder, if you guys are baking, don't forget to do your dry and your wet ingredients in two different bowls and mix them together before combining the ingredients. <laughs> Good job. Baking with toddlers is always messy, so forewarn you if you do this with your kids, it's gonna get it's gonna get a little messier than it would if you were doing it by yourself. Good job. 
and sometimes I don't bake with both kids like I'm doing now I like to do one-on-one -on -one time with each of the kids I think it's so important to do that sometimes I don't even take both of them to the store sometimes I'll only take one and leave the other with their dad or my mom because that way they get one-on-one -on -one time and I think that's important so good job look at you good job the reality of baking with a toddler so he just threw this in here this is the second car stop it Noah like he's done that with <laughs> dishes and Noah decided to clean the mirror with coconut oil you guys coconut oil and it's all oh bless you it's all over his clothes and I don't even know if that's going to be able to come out now because oil stains leave comments down below if you know how to get oil out I'm so upset right now I'm just trying so hard to keep my cool because oh my gosh Noah I cannot believe he did that. I cannot believe that. <sighs> Deep breaths. I'm gonna go pray, and may the uh, and may the Lord give me some patience. And yeah, I just wow. Today has been a day. And now I have no more coconut oil spray. He literally used the rest of it to spray the mirror and clean it with newspaper. Cause he sees me doing that but he was just trying to help and he came in here talking getting newspaper talking about oh he has to clean i didn't know what he was doing and i had no idea that he grabbed the coconut oil spray so wow i just put some stain remover on his overalls you guys those are really pricey overalls like pricey and i am gonna be so upset if i can't get that stain out it's like a huge oil stain love that for me so I took the muffins out and they're not even done. Are they even done? I see like gooey batter at the very top so they are not done. Even though I did like the 16, 17 minute mark so I had to throw them back in. Uh, you guys, today I swear the devil is playing lots of games and tricks today and this is why I don't like Halloween. Okay, so it's much, much later now. I just needed to take a breather, take a break from vlogging because I had to clean up that mess and then just sat down and ate muffins, you guys. Like, I'm not even gonna lie to you. The muffins are super good. And we have been just hanging out. We're about to get the kids in their pajamas, brush teeth, read a spooky story, go to bed. You guys know we didn't have any trick-or-treaters come or anything. Um, we never do here, so I mean, hey, that's fine with me. We don't have any candy anyway, so ready for bed. Always a good time. Time to brush teeth again, because we are now brushing twice a day, because I didn't know you were supposed to brush twice a day. Long story, go watch my last vlog where I take the kids to the dentist for the first time. But yes, we're brushing twice a day, and it's been, it's been, it's been crazy. It's been crazy, so... Let me get on to that. So, <laughs> I swear that I cleaned it earlier and I don't even know what happened. But this brings us like to the end of the night. Hot mess. Okay, <laughs> that's a little bit better. I mean, it's not like perfect, but I vacuumed, cleaned everything up. I just can't go to bed with it messy like that. So basically everything is in there. It's little home. Also update on the haunted house. We did not do it and we just said F it and just ate <laughs> the haunted house. And honestly, you guys, it's not good. So it doesn't taste very good. <laughs> so we didn't end up building this and that's, oh, that's okay. Is a pumpkin. You want to read that book? No way. 
What are we to get? Noah, pick one book, and then you guys were gonna watch a movie. A tomb. There was a gravestone in a bat in a black lagoon, in a picture of monster. Monster. Martians taking over the moon, and there were three little mummies rubbing their tummies. Good night, creature. Good night, goo. And good night to the old werewolf hollering. Wow. And the real ghosties, the spookies. <laughs> good night, you. My mom hung up their little leaf and pumpkin. I thought that was so cute. <laughs> That's the one they colored today. Noah really didn't do colors. He did stickers and then took them all off. Uh, oh, this is a good size. I like this. I guess this I can watch.